Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel, please do me a favor, consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell because it will be the only way that you'll be updated when I upload a new video. In today's video, I want us to try to talk about something. Uh, I moved somewhere yesterday and that is the Ministry of Labor and what I saw actually prompted me to make a video today such that I can share with you guys it is quite very serious and it is serious for all residents for all people living in Qatar for people who are residing in Qatar it may be on a free visa it may be on a freelancer visa it may be on a work visa or it may be you are changing from one employment to another it is something very very serious we need to share it out remember it's only on this channel where we can try to share out a little information that we can try to to benefit or we can try to help our friends or help even ourselves to be updated of what is happening most of you you've heard of what we call overstays you've heard of what we call deportation you've also heard of what we call deportation jails but these things do exist uh, yesterday I was at the Ministry of Labor and very many people were actually crying and most of the things, most of the reasons why most of these people might have been crying. It might have been not maybe their problem, may not the fault, maybe not their fault in one way or the other, but again, you, 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 you can't begin making a judgment before you get to find out the truth of it all. What am I talking about? Did you know the use of a residence permit? That is the Katahidi, what we call the residence permit in this country. Remember, I normally talk about I normally talk about a statement that says when we are given visas here, it is what you call a privilege and responsibility. When it comes to responsibility, is our part. Do we normally follow up and find out is my 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 residence permit still valid, which is very important. Actually, yesterday I was of the Minister of Labor, but what I saw was really uh, uh, so touching in one way or the other. And I, I saw very many people getting stranded. And how are they stranded? They are stranded with what you call expired Qatar ID or expired residence permit for those that know what I'm talking about. How comes? What are the three categories of these people that I saw and I, I, I tried to make a thorough research? One, they are people that are sponsoring themselves or what we call the freelancer. Remember, there is a person who is supposed to sign on your papers as you go to renew your ID. And one person I got to interact with, he was like he has not seen his sponsor for quite a long period of time now. So meaning that his ID will not be renewed because he needed the signature of his sponsor. So this is a person that was supposed to be deported back to the country. Or face what you call penalties of 10,000 Qatar Rial. Just kind of imagine. Then another person that I go to interact with is a person who changed from one job to another. Or as I keep on advising people I get to talk to, or people who get to put comments in the comment section, I always advise you and tell you, if you change from one job to another, make sure that within the six months you have your Qatar ID. It is your responsibility, it is your role, but it's also the responsibility of the person that the new employer or the person who is recruiting you as the new employer. What is your responsibility? Your responsibility as a person is to follow up. Please follow up for your ID. You need to have a valid Qatar ID. You need to have a valid residence permit all the time. Because you never know what is going to happen to you. You never know. You may be asked for that ID on the way. You do not have the ID. What are you going to do? There is what you call a deportation jail. You will be taken to jail, pay fine, and they will deport you back to your country. So guys, let's take this as our responsibility. If your ID is about to expire, you are in a country, you are in a company where you are on what you call a work visa. One month prior to your expiration of your ID, inform your concerned parties. Let them know about your ID expired. 
Do not move outside. Do not risk moving outside with an expired ID. And you do not have anything to back you up. Remember, the penalties are so high. Imagine paying 10,000 Qatariyal for the penalty. Imagine reporting you back to your country. This is something serious for people that I'm talking to, for anyone who's watching this video. And you know you in these Gulf countries. If you know you are in Qatar, please make sure your ID always has to be valid. Because even at night there's random checking. CIDs are, are moving around asking for ID. Imagine a situation they are asking ID with you and you do not have an ID and you're going to say a lot of words. Not even in a metrash too you have your ID. Your ID is expired. It's not going to about to be allowed making corners, excuses, excuses. I told you, you it's your responsibility. When the law gets you in the fix, there is no I do not understand. There is no I cannot talk. There is no I did not know I must have this. So let it be your responsibility. I was so much touched seeing fellow, fellow, fellow friends crying. They just cried for either something they knew, which I cannot judge, or for something that I, they do not know in one way or the other. It might have been the fault of the company, or it might have been their fault in one way or the other. Overstays, the penalties for overstay. Please make sure you jump out of these kind of things. Make sure you don't fall in the trap of these things as you are in a foreign country. Make sure you are up to date all the time. You are up to date with the documents that are required by that country all the time. All the time. I just request you guys. It is your responsibility. It is not the responsibility of the person that gave you the visa. Much as 50% of it may be to him, but you also have a, a role to play by reminding that person to renew your ID. Reminding that person you don't have a cut ID. You can't tell me you're on a work visa, you're in the country for seven months and you do not have an ID. And you keep him quiet. You sit and so comfortable. Since you're getting salary, you're eating, you sit and comfortably, you do not have an ID. And you move up and comfortably, just on the way. You know they know no. No one knows you. The Lord does not know you. It is your responsibility as a person. It is your responsibility to make sure you have that ID. Yes, have that ID, but make sure it is expiring one month prior to the expiration. Please report that to the concerned person. Re report that to the concerned people so that you can have that ID printed for you. Hope I'm trying to share it for something with you guys. For people who have not gone through this situation, may not know what happens. For people who have gone through this situation of deportation, situation of where the CID will meet you and ask you for an ID, and you have a lot of stories to ask, a lot of resource stories to say, you will have a lot of excuses. Imagine. Remember, this is not your country. It is just your privilege they gave you the visa. Make sure you are up to date with all the travel documents. Hope I've tried to share something with you guys. For people who are changing from one job to another, where you need your new employer to get for you an ID, to pay up that amount of money to clear up the ID, please make sure you follow up. You should have an ID at least the maximum of six months of you changing the job. That's the grace period. You should have that ID. In the first three months you change to a new employer, you should have that ID with you because it is very important. You don't have an ID, there's a lot of things you cannot access in this Gulf country. In Qatar, there are a lot of things that you cannot access if your ID is not valid. Make sure they have you in the system. Make sure you have that ID. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and if you're new, please consider supporting this channel. It's the only channel that you get the true information. We are talking about avoiding deportation, avoiding overstay fines. Make sure you always have what you call the residence permit with you. So thank you so much. See you again in the next video. 
as we try to discuss more of these interesting tips, more of this interesting information to help us stay safe, to help us look for trouble, to help us avoid looking for trouble, or to help us live in these countries in a very good way. Remember, it is Max from the Max creation. Don't forget to subscribe and support.